Hello ladies and gentlemen I'm going to do a review on my toys high speed foldable electric scooter as you can see it's in a folded state um, and you can see that there is a charger uh, which is kept on the footboard uh, and it's on its stand you can see the stand as well uh, let me give you some statistics around it uh, technically as per uh, the uh, documentation its range is 30 kilometers but i would say for a person like me with uh, 90 kilos of uh, weight it would be around 22 to 25 kilometers uh, maximum and uh, it weighs 12 kilos power structure is 30 into 18650 lithium battery uh, the battery is um, uh, right at the bottom uh, below the footboard and um, it takes about six to seven hours to charge and um, when the product is folded as you can see it right now uh, its dimensions are 42.5 into 16.9 into 19.3 inches okay in this video i will give you more details so um, as you can see it has very good uh, wheels um, over here this is the front one and this is uh, the one at the back this wheel is actually uh, providing the power so it's a rear wheel drive uh, I would say uh, you can see the wires and that's the place from where it gets the power or uh, the battery is actually right here down and it's a lithium battery it's, it's a long one a big one and it supplies power to this wheel and then um, this uh, uh, electric scooter moves this is the charger and you can see the charger it is connected over here this is the point where you need to uh, put it and then uh, the other end uh, would go to the mains and uh, you can uh, then charge it um, and it takes uh, as I mentioned uh, five six hours to uh, charge it uh, fully depends upon how the condition of your battery is uh, first time when you charge it it takes about seven eight hours also first time when you're charging it but subsequent times it uh, takes less amount of time and um, it's been a year since i bought it um, and uh, i've gone a couple of times to uh, one of the malls over here it's called yas mall so i've gone a couple of times to it from uh, my residence which is in yas island it's about five kilometers one way so 10 kilometers going and coming and very comfortably i've been able to do that this is of course the handle uh, this is where you place your hand uh, here and here this is the brake this is uh, the bell you know the horn as you may call it and uh, this uh, is the um, uh, you know uh, this is the place from where you get the uh, light coming out so this is like your um, uh, kind of torch uh, i would say uh, pretty bright it is um, and it uh, functions nicely I, I try to avoid using it much because uh, you know abu dhabi is pretty much well lit and it's really not uh, required but uh, and of course we don't take it on main roads so it's, it's okay if you don't use it daytime is definitely not required and saves the battery as well and um, then yeah I will show you more things uh, about it uh, once I uh, kind of open it. So this is the point, this this point where um, you know this is where you lock it and you can actually lift it. So it's about 12 kgs. It can be lifted, of course. Uh, I'll show you how to uh, remove the latch. Uh, it's a bit tricky with one hand, but yeah, here it is. That's that's how you take it out and that's how you. Put it back it's, it's very simple it's, it's locked again and just with one finger you lift it and it does the job and yeah it's very simple all right in this video i'm going to show you uh, what i couldn't show you when the bike uh, or the scooter was rather folded um, you know it's the bell function this is how you can alert anybody who's on the way you know somebody who's walking and let me show you this as well so this is uh, you know the power on switch so when you switch it it's it's like this this is how it will show it's showing the speed as uh, zero uh, and you have uh, this indicator over here to tell you 
that you have five bars over here which means it's fully charged and if you press it again uh, continuous press it will switch off and if I had to press it two times it would uh, you know power on the um, uh, light as well so let me show you that uh, I pressed it again and we have the the light coming over here you can see that pretty bright very decent and I'm going to switch it off so that switched off so this is what I wanted to show you and this is the accelerator uh, you know I couldn't show it to you when it was folded so when you press it like this uh, it will accelerate I've seen it go to a speed of uh, 13 kilometers an hour I couldn't see it going more the manual says more but I couldn't see it uh, I don't know why this of course is the brake you apply the brake like this very decent the other way of uh, slowing it down is when you're moving at a speed of say 12 13 or 9 or whatever just press it slightly once again and it will slow down automatically that's another way of slowing it down just uh, something that I found uh, so the next thing that I want to uh, tell you all is uh, is this latch uh, you know I straightened the rod as you can see um, you know it was in uh, you know horizontal uh, state so now it's made vertical not exactly 90 degrees but it's on uh, the vertical side so this is where you actually latch it so latching means you do like this and then you can lock it so actually with one hand I'm not able to do because it's a bit tight and it can be locked I and mean, I'm not able to do it honestly speaking with one hand because I'm recording but I'll still try so uh, this actually goes inside here and it's locked I've done it many times but with one hand it's it's a bit difficult yeah I'm not able to do it yeah but this is how you do it and that pretty much uh, sums up uh, most of the features of this particular bike and let me show you one last thing uh, this is where is the connection for uh, actually um, uh, charging it and this this th thing you see over here this is where the battery is located and there are screws over here so the lithium battery is inside it's it's pretty safe and this is the stand over here so this uh, sums up uh, uh, what is actually uh, there uh, in the bike uh, and it runs pretty smooth you need to have uh, proper air pressure in the tires if you don't have then uh, your uh, mileage will be less uh, this uh, I know uh, so if the you know uh, air pressure is good uh, it's uh, supposed to be uh, about uh, 55 uh, I don't know what is the unit for it uh, and you know the um, uh, the nozzle for filling the air is same like uh, a car so you can use a car pump uh, for this let me show you from the other side um, let me fold this and let me show you the nozzle because I did that you can see over here there is one and you can see it on this side as well see where it is yeah here you can see here as well um, this one yeah so it it runs uh, pretty smooth and uh, does a good job uh, I've gone around in it uh, and done um, you know shopping I, I normally take a bag and do uh, my shopping and it runs uh, nicely uh, it does a decent job and um, uh, it's priced uh, when I bought it at, at least you know I bought it for uh, 1500 dirhams um, it might be a little cheaper now um, and um, um, I think it's value for money uh, if you ask me because uh, in Abu Dhabi uh, I've seen and in Dubai also in the city a uh, lot of people use it uh, on the roads you know getting a license here is not all that easy not everybody has a license so in your area where you are residing if you want to do some shopping uh, nearby you know the temperature here is extreme uh, during summer I think this is 
real value for money uh, at least in uae i can say that 100% i bought it to take it to india but unfortunately i can't take it to india because the cost of taking it is very expensive it's pretty heavy a bike a bike and the problem is that uh, you know uh, it's got the lithium battery i mean uh, there are strict rules of how you go to transport and all that that's why the cost is high if the lithium battery wasn't there it would be easy to transport it so um, i've given you all the information that you require about the bike uh, i would say it's a good investment if you're living in uae long term uh, you don't have to take out your car uh, even if you have a car uh, for everything uh, just to go around uh, you know 10 kilometers in and around your house uh, this would be good i would say 10 to 20 kilometers is pretty comfortable